10 times Queen Elizabeth cried in public. Field of Remembrance 2002. The Queen was moved to tears as she attended the opening of the Field of Remembrance at Westminster Abbey in 2002. As she took on our late mother's role, the ceremony held in memory of Britain's war heroes. Open air service was really missed by the Queen Mother, and she had taken part in the ceremony in 2001. Tears rolled down the Queen's face during a minute's silence after she planted a small wooden cross in remembrance. Following that, there was a walkabout around the churchyard and aspects some of the 19,000 crosses from all over the country which paid tribute to the fallen. The Queen then attended a short service at St. Margaret's Church. When Harry left the royal family, the Queen was left, quote, very hurt and, quote, exhausted by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decision to step down as senior royals. In the book The New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's Legacy and the Future of the Crown, a source close to the Queen had revealed that the monarch, quote, was exhausted by the turmoil of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to leave the royal family. She was reported sad and cried because she felt like she was losing one of her grandsons. The decommissioning of Royal Yacht Britannia in 1997. The Queen famously shed a tear when she attended the decommissioning of the Royal Yacht Britannia during a ceremony in Portsmouth in 1997. Overcome with emotion, she was seen wiping her eyes as her beloved yacht was taken out of service after 22 years. The Queen had a deep personal affection for the vessel, which she had herself launched in April of 1953. It carried the monarch and her family on a number of occasions, both on official and private family voyages. Remembrance Sunday service. 2019. The Queen was seen wiping away a tear during the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph in 2019 as Britain fell silent to honour Britain's war heroes. The monarch dressed in black and was joined by the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duchess of Cambridge on the balcony above the Whitehall Memorial of the annual ceremony. She looked on as her son Prince Charles praised the wreath of red poppies on the Whitehall Memorial. The Queen last performed the same duty in 2016. The Queen's Ladies in Waiting The Ladies in Waiting are an organised hierarchy of close friends and confidants of the Queen who have titles that date from the medieval period. A royal source told the Telegraph about the Queen's response to losing her friends. It has not been a good year for the Queen losing her husband and then the Duchess of Grafton and now Lady Farham, the source said. They were dear friends who supported the Queen on official duties. Unfortunately, a sad consequence of living a long life is that you have to say goodbye to a lot of people you care about. The source also reported that Her Majesty got emotional when she found out about their passing. Prince Philip's funeral. The Queen held back her undoubted sorrow at the funeral of her husband of 73 years, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who passed on April 9th at age 99. The monarch kept her composure as she exited her Bentley and entered St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, a tiny stooped figure dressed in black and wearing a matching face mask. She sat alone at the service, her head bowed, and left with the Dean of Windsor who officiated. Iberfan 1966 In October 1966, tragedy hit the coaling mining village of Aberfan, South Wales, when a colliery spoiled tip located directly above the village slid downhill. The devastating event resulted in the passing of 144 people, 116 of whom were children. One day after the final victim was recovered from the debris, the Queen and Prince Philip traveled to pay their respects to the deceased and their loved ones. It was later reported that waiting eight days to visit was one of the monarch's biggest regrets. She had appeared visibly moved as she walked around the site of the tragedy with her husband. I think she felt in hindsight that she might have gone there a bit earlier. It was sort of a lesson for us that you need to show sympathy and to be there on the spot, which I think people craved from her, said someone who worked in the royal press office at the time of the tragedy. Princess Diana's funeral. On September 6, millions around the world watched Diana's funeral procession and service at Westminster Abbey. Queen Elizabeth II bowed at her funeral, which no one else did, and she was the queen, so you know that was something very special because she doesn't bow for just anybody. Later that day, her remains were transported home to a family's estate where she was buried. The castle was covered in bouquets of flowers, even more than was placed at the castle after the queen passed away. This photo you're looking at right now are bouquets of flowers left for Princess Diana. It was said that while the Queen bowed, she also got a bit emotional and shed a few tears. A service for fallen soldiers, the Duke of Lancaster Regiment, 2016. The Queen became visibly emotional during a moving service for the fallen soldiers of the Duke of Lancaster Regiment in 2016. The monarch had just returned to her seat having unveiled a statue in memory of members of the regiment who have passed since it was founded in 2006. The Queen has a deep personal attachment to the Duke of Lancaster Regiment. She is its Colonel in Chief and it is also named after her. The Duke of Lancaster is is one of the titles bestowed upon the sovereign. Princess Margaret's funeral. At her sister Princess Margaret's funeral in 2002, people who were there and seated near the Queen told Bedell Smith she was quote, very tearful and quote, the saddest I've ever seen her. And that was the 10 times Queen Elizabeth cried in public. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments below and we will see you next time.